Today I'm going to show you how I pull deep vacuums when replacing condensing units. Good prep work is essential and we do it every time. Remove the valve cores. Purge the air out of the copper lines with nitrogen prior to brazing. Flow the nitrogen at 3 to 5 CFH through the lines while brazing. Leak test the system with high pressure nitrogen and soap bubbles. Tools I'm using for evacuation are three Apion valve core removal tools, two yellow jacket 3 ace hoses used for evacuation only, the BG64 micron gauge with the yellow jacket micron coupler, and the BP67 dual stage vacuum pump with fresh new oil. Again, I have both valve cores removed. Then I'm gonna hook up my core removal tool to the liquid line, then my other core removal tool to the vapor line. And when I'm tightening these down to the port, I'm only doing it snug. I don't wanna smash that O-ring. The third core removal tool is gonna to be attached to the other core removal tool on the liquid line. And this is for protection for my micron gauge. And it also makes it easier to do a decay test at the end of the evacuation. Then I'm gonna hook up my 3 8 hoses with the quarter inch flare up to the valve core removal tools. With the gas ballast in the open position, I'm gonna turn on my field piece pump and open the valves on my valve core removal tools. I'm going to watch my micron gauge and as soon as it starts to drop below 3000 microns, I'm gonna go over to the side of the vacuum pump and close down on the gas ballast. When the microns get near 1000, I'm gonna go to all the valve core removal tools and I'm gonna open and close the valves on these just to get rid of any air that may be sitting in those valve pockets. You can see the brief rise on the micron gauge when I do this. I'll also repeat this process when it nears 500 microns. When I reach 300 microns or lower, this is when I'll begin to do my decay test by closing down the valves on my core removal tools that are hooked up to the service ports. Then I'll start a timer for 10 minutes and shut off the vacuum pump. Most data sheets that I've read say if you don't go above a thousand microns after 10 minutes, you are leak free and moisture free in that system. Next, I'm gonna valve off my micron gauge because I'm getting ready to break vacuum. However you choose to break vacuum, just make sure you're not pushing air into the system. If you're using a refrigerant hose, bleed the air out before you break it with refrigerant. Also, don't even try to reinstall the valve cores before breaking vacuum or you definitely will introduce air into the system. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Dave. See you on the next one.